हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू योर चैनल मेक फिजिक्स इजियर बाय मयूर अग्रवाल आई एम योर फ्रेंड योर टीचर मिस्टर मयूर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू विद अ न्यू टॉपिक नेचर ऑफ रूट्स ऑफ अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन दिस चैप्टर बिलोंग्स टू सीबीएसई बोर्ड आईसीएसई बोर्ड बोथ टाइप ऑफ बोर्ड्स एज वेल एज फॉर द कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स सम क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर हैज बीन अराइव इन कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स रेगुलरली so this video is going to be very important for all the students who are preparing for competitions who are in 9th or 10th standard so let's start today's video quadratic equation so before starting the nature of roots first i am going to tell you the general form of a quadratic equation this is the general form of a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a b and c they are constants and x is variable so here one condition is also there a cannot be zero the value of a cannot be zero b and c may be zero so if i am writing that 3x square plus 5x plus 7 is equal to zero now i'm going to compare this equation with the general form of a quadratic equation then the value of a will be 3 the value of b will be 5 and the value of c will be 7 because the coefficient of x square is a the coefficient of x is 5 and the constant is c before for finding the nature of the roots first we have to understand how to find a b and c suppose sometimes equation is like this x minus 1 upon x is equal to 0 so you can say that right now it is not looking as a quadratic equation but if you solve it x square minus 1 upon x is equal to 0 cross multiply x square minus 1 is equal to 0 now you can say that this is also a quadratic now if you compare this equation with the general form then the value of a will be 1 and b will be 0 c will be minus 1 a value 1 why because the coefficient of x square is 1 here where value of b is 0 why because there is not any term related to x because the coefficient of x is 0 that is why x term is removed from this polynomial and the constant is minus 1 so a b and c so this is the method method to find the values of a b and c from the given quadratic equation sometimes the equation is directly uh, related to quadratic like this this equation which i have written and sometimes equation may be like this so you have to convert it in the form of quadratic now what is the nature of roots so for that purpose you have to be very clear about the formula method the formula method of quadratic equation to find a solution x is equal to minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac upon 2a this is the formula method to solve any quadratic equation this formula is also called as shridharacharya formula and i have made this video i have given this uh, topic in my channel okay so you can take help from that video but why i am writing over here because this this quantity b square minus 4ac this quantity is called as discriminant because the nature of root depend on this quantity only that is why we are going to discuss this quantity in brief now in the next exercise that is why we can say that the discriminant value affect the nature of root what is discriminant b square minus 4ac only b square minus 4ac not root the in the formula root b square minus 4ac is there but when we are going to talk about the nature of roots then we only find the values of b square minus 4ac so for finding the nature of roots we have to concentrate on this quantity b square minus 4ac so there are three conditions the first condition if b square minus 4ac greater than 0 then the roots are real and distinct distinct means separate different values second condition if b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 it means roots are real and equal both if b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 and the third condition if b square minus 4ac less than 0 then roots are imaginary or you can say roots are not possible so these are the three conditions in the nature of the roots 
if b square minus 4 is greater than 0 then the roots are real and distinct distinct means different values if b square minus 4 is is equal to 0 then roots are real and equal both because if you place 0 over here then both solutions are minus b plus upon 2a minus b plus 0 upon 2a and minus b minus 0 upon 2a so in both cases value will be same that is why it is written over here real and equal and if b square minus 4ac less than 0 less than 0 means under root minus 2 so these numbers are called we know very well imaginary numbers that is why roots are imaginary or not possible so these are the three conditions now we are going to discuss the type of questions there are some certain questions which come in board exams but before that we will start from the level 1 I have divided some questions in the according to their levels. So in the level 1, in the first type of question, we have to just find the nature by finding the discriminant. Like I have a question 2x square plus 15x plus 30 is equal to 0. We have to find the nature of roots for this quadratic equation. Very simple. First of all, you will write the general equation for this. Okay, now if you compare value of A will be 2, value of B will be 15 and value of C will be 30. Now, D is equal to B square minus 4AC. Now we are going to find the value of D. B square means 15 square minus 4 into 2 into 30. 15 square 225, 4 to the 8, 8 is a 24, 240. So the answer is minus 15. So we can write it as value of D is less than 0. And when the value of D discriminant less than 0, then the roots are imaginary. So we can write as roots are imaginary. So this is the type 1 questions in which you have a quadratic equation in your question and you have to just find the nature of the roots. So you directly, first of all, write the general form of the quadratic equation which is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Then you will compare that general form with the given quadratic equation. You will find the values of A, B and C. Then you can place in the value of discriminant or the formula of the discriminant B square minus 4AC. The value is coming negative. Negative term means less than 0. And if the discriminant less than 0, then the roots are imaginary. So these are the type 1 questions. Now in the second type of questions, there must be some complications also, some complicated terms must be there. For example this, 2 root 3 x square minus 5 x and plus root 3 is equal to 0. Here root terms are there. So sometimes when a student observes that there are some root terms, then the student becomes afraid of that question. But we have not to be lose our patience. We have to just concentrate on our to just concentrate on our concept. And this question can also be solved with the same method. First of all, general form. ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. The value of a, 2 root 3. The value of b, minus 5. And the value of c, root 3. Now we can write it as d is equal to b square minus 4ac. Now place the values b, minus 5 whole square, minus 4 into 2 root 3 into root 3. Very simple. Minus 5 square, positive 25. Remember that. Some students, then I will in this step. Minus 5 square in hurriedly. In a very less way, they will write minus 25. So it will become wrong. Minus 4 to the 8, 8 into 3. Root 3 and root 3 will become 3. So you can write it here. 25 minus 24. The answer is 1. Answer is 1 means the value of D is greater than 0. When the value of D is greater than 0, it means roots are real and distinct real hoge or different values ke hoge. so this is the type 2 questions basically they are type 1 only but here root terms are there so I have discussed this question with you now we will change the type of question now we have some conditions in the type 3 questions I have changed the uh, level of the solving px square minus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. These are the type 3 questions. In this question it is written that we have to find the value of this variable P 
इफ द गिवेन क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन हैज इक्वल एंड रियल रूट इफ दिस गिवेन इक्वेशन हैज इक्वल रूट देन वॉट विल बी द कंडीशन ओवर देर डी इज इक्वल टू जीरो डी मीन्स बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर एस इज इक्वल टू जीरो इफ यू आर गोइंग टू कंपेयर दिस इक्वेशन विद ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस इज इक्वल टू जीरो देन द वैल्यू ऑफ ए विल बी पी द वैल्यू ऑफ बी विल बी माइनस फोर एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ सी विल बी थ्री नाउ प्लेस ऑल द वैल्यूज ओवर हेयर माइनस फोर होल स्क्वायर माइनस फोर इंटू पी इंटू थ्री इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो सिक्सटीन माइनस ट्वेल्व पी इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो ट्वेल्व पी इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन सो पी इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन बाई ट्वेल्व When you will solve it, the value of p will come four by three. So this is the answer. This is the concept behind the finding variables in a quadratic equation if the nature of root is given. In first two questions, we have to find the nature of roots. That is why we use formula and find the value. But in this question, nature of root is given. Nature of root is given as real and equal. That is why we can say that d is equal to zero. Discriminant is equal to zero. And what will be the formula for the discriminant? We know very well. B square minus four AC. On comparing the given quadratic equation with the help of general equation of quadratic equation, we can find the values of A, B, and C. Place all the values. Find the variable. So these are the type three questions. now we are going to increase the difficulty level in the next question and uh, the terms will be like this 3m plus 1 x square plus 2m plus 1 x plus m is equal to 0 so this is the type four questions and in the same question in this question the condition is same the roots are real and equal if the roots are real and equal find the value of m variable because here m variable is there that is why so first of all general form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 what will be the value of a the coefficient of x square which means 3m plus 1 the value of b coefficient of x so we can write 2m plus 1 And value of c constant only m. So a, b, and c values we have written. Now according to the first condition, d is equal to zero, which means b square minus four ac is equal to zero. B square means two m plus one whole square minus four three m plus one and multiply by m is equal to zero. Solve it. Two m plus one whole square it is. So two square m and m plus one whole square m square plus one plus two m minus four and then multiply four m. And multiply with three m plus one. Now four m square plus four plus eight m minus four is a twelve m square minus four m is equal to zero. Now my four m square minus twelve m square. We can write minus eight m square plus eight m minus four m. We can write plus four m plus four is equal to zero. We can take minus four as common. So two m square minus m. Minus one is equal to zero. So the answer is two m square minus m minus one is equal to zero. So this is also a quadratic equation. So we can use uh, the middle term splitting method in this. So we can write two m square minus two m plus m minus one is equal to zero. We can take two m common in these two terms. So m minus one, nothing is common. So m minus one. So the final answer will be. M minus one in the first bracket and two m plus one in the second bracket is equal to zero. So from this condition, there are two values, two possible values. Of m first value of m is one, and second value of m is minus one by two. So these are the two values which we have found with the help of the given quadratic equation. The method is exactly same. There is no change in the methodology. Because first of all we have compared the given equation with the general form, which is dx square plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Either that we can say that question is little lengthier. The questions which we have discussed in the first three parts they are not uh, so much lengthy. But this question is little lengthier. We can say that. But there is no change in the concept. Concept remains same. In the same way we have compared, find the value of a, b, and c. Place the uh, in the condition related to. Equal and real roots, which is b square minus 4ac is equal to zero. Place all the values, solve. Then at last we are getting a quadratic equation again. So the, that quadratic equation can be solved with the help of factorization, middle term splitting. So we have done that, and we have found the values of 
and two values are there because both values are possible. That is why we have written over here. So these are the type four questions. One more question I want to discuss with you. This this will be the I think last type of questions. And we have this concept is very compulsory because uh, mostly three marks question of this chapter will definitely come in your board exam. So prepare for that. In the last type five questions, x square plus kx plus four. Is equal to zero. This equation is very small, but the condition over here is this equation has real roots. It is said that this equation has real roots. So real roots means they are equal or they are distinct. This we know, we don't know. So we can say that first of all, compare this equation a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero. The value of a will be one. The value of b will be k. The value of c will be four. So when roots are real only, it is given. So we can use that combined condition b square minus 4ac greater than or equals to zero because equation according to the condition roots are real only. So real only they must be equal or they must be different, distinct also. So we can use the combined condition greater than or equals to. So place all the values k square minus 4 into 1 into 4. Greater than or equals to zero. So k square minus sixteen greater than or equals to zero. So k square greater than or less than greater than or equals to sixteen. So k under root sixteen. So k is greater than or equals to four. So this is the condition. So the value for k is greater than or equals to four. So this is the type of questions which you will get in the given topic. Nature of roots of a quadratic equations. So I hope so. You will like today's video and you will definitely have some command on this concept. Nature of roots concept. But you will definitely have command. Will come. I think so. But if you have some suggestions, you have some doubts, then you can contact me. Thank you for watching my video. If you watch this video, if you like this, then comment in the comment box and subscribe as much as you can. Thank you.